Okay, it's time to make a change to the printer again. Uh, I've got a Chubby and I wanted to make a new mount that would support the Chubay, the Goliath, and also the Mosquito. So I wanted to show you how my old setup worked and basically this is just one solid plate that's uh, it's about five millimeters thick, not quite. And I've got the Goliath bolted to the bottom of it with these standoffs and then I cut down this heat sink put a little tube in there for the bird to cool it and the heat break comes through here now if you're going to do something like this it's important you have some clearance around this uh, heat break here uh, if anything moves here and you put any force on that heat break you're going to break it so you need a little bit of a room there for it to to move if it has to and that just slides over there okay and so uh, this new mount is very similar this is very similar to the mount that's on here um, this will go underneath here like this and for this one I've added some standoffs here for the duct I've got the uh, a little bird air tube here I don't have a uh, a three millimeter threaded barb fitting to go in there so for now I'm going to use a piece of bird tube that's been uh, safety wired uh, it's all I've really got right now so I'm going to use that I have on here a lowered this is a, a VZ extrudor and I have removed the uh, original back plate and made a new one to lower this motor so it's down against this this plate here uh, I also have a, a backup bolt threaded into the bottom that's going to trap this back end down. I've got my own custom uh, Bowden guide here from the uh, extruder down and the Hark tool board on the back. Uh, surprisingly enough, now this is a little chunkier than the glass setup. Um, I don't remember how many grams more, but it's it's 40, 50 grams heavier. Um, it is a nice little package, uh, but it is on the chunky side, so probably lose a little bit of motor torque over this one. But uh, the center uh, the center of mass is very good on this. Um, I don't have the carriages bolted to it, but when you lift it right here, uh, it, it it's it's level. So. We're going to see how this works out, Ch change this guy out today, and uh, and see what we get. So uh, this piece here I made here, um, just taking some aluminum, printing a template, center punching it, drilling the holes. Um, it's it's not. Uh, this is scream cut sand <laughs> instead of send cut sand here. So. But we got it done in, in about four hours, and uh, we'll just see. We'll see what happens. So stay tuned. Here we have the footprint. This is uh, only Goliath, and this is the combo. Pretty similar in size. Obviously, this one is bigger. Um, this piece weighs about uh, oh 34, 35 grams. Uh, this one I think is 29 uh, it's something like that but not too bad there okay and here we have it installed it seemed to go really well I'd like to point out something on these plates here so uh, typically what I do is I drill these four holes on the small side 
and I use those to locate this piece with the countersunk screws. I have to have the countersunk anyway. And then these four holes, I make them a little bit bigger. And what that allows me to do is tighten down these four bolts first, and then I have some wiggle room here to be able to shift that carriage a little bit to get it square. Now this one has bigger holes in it than it should have. The newer one has much better, tighter holes in it. And what I did is, I uh, homed my machine before I took it apart and then I disassembled um, the tool head I left everything enabled shut nothing off and then I mounted the uh, new plate and then I slid the carriage over and bolted it in and all the bolts fit exactly where they're supposed to it was already squared up with the switches so basically um, what little play there is in these four holes down here uh, it was able to put those bolts in no problem so now this thing is worked out really square my template that I made this time I made sure to scale it up a little bit higher I didn't want to design it with the hole spread based on the plastic shrinkage when I printed my template so I scaled it in the slicer to make up for about 0.2 millimeter and it actually came out really decent. All my center lines are all good um, on this and it squared up 90 so it, it really worked out pretty good. It sure is a mammoth. So here it is installed. Um, I chose to you know to bring everything out the front here. I didn't want to rotate it because this this part down here needs to have the angle where my ducts are. So it's really got to be mounted in this orientation. Uh, so that was either the wires coming out here or in the back and there's no room in the back to do that so it's going to have to come out the front like this here so I went with uh, countersunk bolts here for Chube I was only going to use three bolts to bolt it in but I'm using four now instead I can add two more if I want to but they're going to have to be socket cap for those two um, because there's uh, two more holes in there for the mosquito so this one will support a mosquito, a Chube uh, the Goliath, uh, a Sherpa, a VZ Hex, uh, as long as it's a 43.5 millimeter bolt pattern. Um, so I'm going to have to do some tests here and then uh, maybe I'll get to some printing later.